And the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Sure was good to see our friend Garn again. Yes, he's made great improvements in Targa since he became king. Hey, what's that? Well, let's find out. A signal of some kind. We'll zero in on it. Hmm, that's strange. The signal seems to be coming from that dune. Uh, I'm not so sure that is a dune. Come on. What's oh, metal? There's something hidden under this sand. Oh, something big. By the power of Grayskull! Stand back. A ship of some kind must have crashed here. I don't think this came from anywhere on Eternia. It's badly damaged. It must have. Duncan, look out! Had enough. It must have built itself a sleeping hole underneath that ship. Speaking of that ship, let's take a look inside. Look, there's the ship's pilot. And the signal seems to be coming directly from him. And he seems to be in pretty bad shape. I think we should take him back to my lab. It's possible I might be able to repair him. <laughs> now our only problem is getting him running. I've tried everything I could think of, but nothing seems to work. Oh, maybe we could just kick him. That always gets Father's Sky Chariot started. Just kidding, Duncan. One moment, please. Entrance to laboratory is restricted. Please state your name for identification. Why, I'm Orca. Thank you. Orco identified as pest. Entry not allowed. Sorry. Listen, you tin can. I'm on a mission for the king, so get out of the way. Entry of Orco into lab is forbidden. Stop, please, or I will have to take appropriate measures. As you wish. Hey! I'm afraid you'll have to leave this area. Hey, let me go, you, you rust bucket. I'm warning you. Let me loose. Let go. 
What's that racket? Sounds like Orko. I'll go check it out. Okay, Metal Puss, you asked for it. I wish you'd understand. This is just my job. Abracadabra, abracadee. Make this junk pile set me free. Oh, malfunction, 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 oh, help, 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 help. Orko, is that... Orko, do you realize what you've done? Chee-chee, -chee, man at arms it, it wasn't my fault. It was that stupid robot. I beg your pardon. He's active. I don't believe it. Orko must have jarred something that switched him on. I, I did? Excuse me, but could you define my present location? I, well, you're on the uh, planet of Eternia. Your ship crashed here and we found you. But who are you and where do you come from? I am called Robato. I am an explorer from the planet of Robotica. Forgive me if I appear rude, but I have never seen beings of your kind before. May I scan you? Well, I have no objection. It, it won't hurt, will it? It is a quite harmless procedure, I assure you. Mm, totally organic, no metal parts. How strange. Though scan does indicate a high degree of intelligence. Well, I'm flattered. Do me! D do me! Astounding. I can make no sense of this being. Uh, nobody can. It's the way he is. Funny. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Roboto. The feeling is mutual, King Raddor. Uh, Your Majesty, Roboto would like permission to explore our planet while our technos work on his ship. Granted. I'll leave the arrangements to you, Duncan. Uh, thank you, sire. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Not at all. It's not often we get a visitor from another world. Especially one as unique as you. I have never thought of myself as unique. On Robotica, there are over 5,000 of my brothers and sisters. Well, you're on Eternia now. And believe me, here you're one of a kind. One of a kind, eh? <laughs> I think this Roboto has some interesting possibilities. <laughs> And I, Modulot, am just the one <laughs> to make use of it. Uh, you're sure you'll be comfortable here? Yes, it almost reminds me of home. We'll be by early tomorrow morning to start your tour of Eternia. I shall look forward to it. Good night, Man at Arms. Good night, Prince Adam. Uh, uh, good night, Roboto. I think I'll get myself a nice cup of hot oil. Just the one I was looking for. Hello, are you a friend of Man at Arms? No, I am his sworn enemy, as you will be when I am through with you. Circuits. Circuits disrupted. Can't get. <laughs> think we should show Roboto first. Well, how about the ancient ruins? I'm sure he and the Zacdons would have a lot to talk about. Good idea. Adam, look. Could Roboto have done this? Oh, no. This wall was caved in from the outside. I do not understand what it is you want from me. Why, your power, of course. Once I have finished reprogramming you, your own personality will be 
gone. And you will be my slave forever. My friends, Man at Arms and Prince Adam will never allow that. Unfortunately, by the time they find you, it will be too late. Power amplifiers in place. Have you adjusted the radar scope to Roboto's frequency? Yes. Then let's test it. It's working. We've got his signal. Let's get going. It's done. Forward, my powerful slave. <laughs> That's excellent. He's obeying my instructions to the letter. Now it's time for a real test. <laughs> the signal, it started to move. What's going north? Eternia's foremost research laboratory. And soon, all its secrets will belong to me. All right, Roboto. Let's just see what you can do. Forward. Hey, look. You, halt. Hold her with fire. No, stop! And stop it! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Excellent! Now, for the gate! Destroy it! Now! Incredible! With your strength and my brains, nothing can stand in our way. Nothing. Man at arms, look. The signal stopped moving. Then Roboto must be right below us. I'm going to land. What is this place? Station Zeta. It's one of our scientific research bases. And someone has broken in. Roboto? If Roboto has become our enemy, he won't be easy to deal with. Maybe you'd better change to He-Man. Yeah, good idea. By the power of Grayskull! You villains, you, you won't get away with this. Take them away, Roboto. Their whining annoys me. By the time they free themselves, we'll be long gone. Uh, help! Uh, let us go, please. Put us down! Oh, let us go! Let us go! Shall I take first? Ooh, that looks interesting. Hmm, remote control. This could be of use. Delightful! Listen, it's coming from that door. Let's take a look. It's Modulock. Looks like we were wrong about Roboto. Come on, let's give that villain Modulock a little surprise. With this machine, I can go anywhere. The only place you're going is the King's Dungeon. He-Man, I'll fix you. done with Roboto, you fiend. Here's my answer to you, He-Man. You certainly got the drop on him. 
Roboto, are we glad to see you. Are you all right? Angelak must have done something to him. Roboto, listen, don't worry. We'll take you back to the palace and fix whatever Modulak did. Come on. It's no use. Of course not, muscle brain. My force field cage can hold anything. My head. Ah, you're back with us, man at arms. Just in time, too. Oh, fiend, what did you do to Roboto? I simply reprogrammed him, wiping out his own personality and leaving him totally obedient to me. But if I were you, I would be more worried about what's going to happen to you. If you dare hurt men at arms, hurt him? Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just going to perform a little experiment on him. Experiment? Yes, one I'm sure you will appreciate. Let me explain it to you. I'm not interested. No? Well, that's too bad, because I'm going to tell you anyway. You see, this device you're sitting in is a brain transfer machine. When I put this little headpiece on you, it will transfer your intelligence into my extra head. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. Just watch. Roboto, listen to me. You've got to help man at arms. No use struggling. In a moment, my machine will be up to full power, and then... <laughs> man at arms repaired you. He made you well again. Now you've got to help him. You've got to. Fight Modulok's reprogramming. He is trying to make you as evil as he is. Well, here we go. Roboto, please, stop Modulok before it's too late. Stop! What? I cannot allow any harm to man-at-arms. Good work, Roboto. I don't believe it. That stupid robot has destroyed my brain transfer! Please surrender immediately or... Roboto! Must re... He man... Have to disrupt force field... It can't... Are you all right, Duncan? Yes, thanks to Roboto. Let's see how he is. Roboto, speak to me. My friend, I, I, I. Roboto. We've got to get him back to my lab, quickly. Y you think Man-at-Arms can fix Roboto? I don't know, Orko. His circuits were very badly damaged. He was such a nice robot. Why, why, thank you, Cringer. Father, you did it! Man at Arms is a genius. I feel better than on the day I was first constructed. This calls for a celebration. Why not make it a birthday celebration? After all, this is a kind of second birthday for Roboto. That's an excellent idea, Marlena. Birthday? I do not understand. When a human is born, we call that day his birthday. Born 
You might say it's the same as being constructed. Uh, uh, I see. Hey, that kind of makes Man in Arms Roboto's father. What? Well, you have to admit, <laughs> there is a family resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you mention it, Orko, I do believe you're right. <laughs> it's too bad, but sometimes people think that doing the right thing is just too much trouble. When a friend is in trouble, there isn't time to wonder whether you should or shouldn't help. You just do it. And sometimes the one you help will turn around and help you. Remember, every time you help someone, the good comes back to you, sometimes in ways you don't even know about. But it does. Another thing, there's nothing in the world quite like the feeling that comes from knowing you've done something good for someone else. We'll see you next time.